हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर द अर्थ एंड द ग्रेटिट्यूड वी हैव लर्न अबाउट डिरेक्शन एंड सब डिरेक्शन आफ्टर द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ अ फिगर नंबर वन पॉइंट वन इट इज अबाउट टू डिस्क्राइब अ लोकेशन यूजिंग डिरेक्शन एंड सब डिरेक्शन वी हैव नोटेड दैट ओनली डिरेक्शन एंड सब डिरेक्शन डज नॉट हेल्प अस to describe a location of a place on the earth surface and uh, that is why it become necessary to find out a new system to state the precise location of uh, any place on the earth surface what is it we have started to learn that and uh, as we know that our earth is a spherical in shape that is why scientists have found miniature model of the earth in a form of globe device what is globe globe is a duplicate model of the earth or globe is a miniature model of the earth then how globe will be useful to describe a location of any place on the earth surface we have started to learn that we observe that uh, there are vertical and horizontal lines on a globe horizontal lines runs from east to west and forms circles on a globe and vertical lines runs from north pole to south pole and forms semicircles horizontal lines on a globe are called parallels of latitude and uh, vertical lines on a globe are called meridians of longitude parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude forms a net on a globe is called graticule look at this figure in this figure you can see parallels of a latitude appears as a circle on a globe and uh, meridians of a longitude appears semi circles on a globe and these are the parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude forms a net on a globe is called graticule what is the main use of graticule the graticule facilitates determining the location of a place on earth surface how let us see we will get this questions answer in a second chapter let us use the graticule now take out your textbooks turn page number 10 and observe figure number 2.1 the group first question what are the horizontal lines on the globe called we have learned that horizontal lines that runs from east to west look at these horizontal lines on a globe horizontal lines on the globe are called parallels of latitude next question list the continents and oceans through which the equator passes and now look at this equator the equator passes through the continent of asia look at these countries indonesia this country is a located in the continent of asia look at these countries somalia kenya congo republic gabon these are the countries through the equator passes 
and these uh, countries are located in the continent of uh, Africa. And uh, look at these countries, Brazil, Colombia, these are the countries through the equator passes and these uh, countries are uh, located in the continent of uh, South America. And uh, we can see on the map also, look at this uh, zero degree equator, the continent of uh, Africa, South America, and look at this is a part of uh, continent Asia. So these are continents through the equator passes. And look at these uh, oceans, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and uh, Indian Ocean. This is a part of uh, Indian Ocean. So these are oceans through the equator passes. Next question, encircle the intersection of 0 degree meridian and 0 degree parallel on the globe. Look at this uh, 0 degree prime meridian and this is a 0 degree parallel and this is a intersection point. 0 degree parallel intersects to prime meridian here or other way one can say 0 degree prime meridian intersects to the equator here. Next question, which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres? Previously we have learned that uh, Earth's surface is divided into four hemispheres. Zero degree equator, look at this zero degree equator, divides Earth's surface into northern hemisphere and into southern hemisphere. And look at this uh, zero degree prime meridian and uh, 180 degree meridian that lies exactly opposite side of a zero degree prime meridian forms circle and this circle divides earth into east and west part. One is towards east from the prime meridian is called eastern hemisphere and uh, one is towards west from zero degree prime meridian is called Western Hemisphere. We have learned this previously. And what is the question? Which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres? So we can see here Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean are spread in all the four hemispheres. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere, and Western Hemisphere. Next question, which continents are spread in all the four hemispheres? We will start from the continent of Asia. The continent of Asia is spread in the Eastern Hemisphere in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere. Australia spread in the eastern and uh, southern hemisphere. Africa is spread in the eastern 
वेस्टर्न नॉर्दर्न एंड साउदर्न हेमिस्फेयर साउथ अमेरिका इज स्प्रेड इन द वेस्टर्न नॉर्दर्न एंड साउदर्न हेमिस्फेयर नॉर्थ अमेरिका इज स्प्रेड इन नॉर्दर्न एंड वेस्टर्न हेमिस्फेयर the continent of europe is a spread in western eastern and northern hemispheres so we have found that there is only one continent in the world that spread in all the four hemispheres it is africa next question at which two parallels do all the meridians converge all the meridians look at these meridians converge at the north pole and south pole students we have noted that uh, when we talk about various places regions rivers roads etc we are actually talking with reference to the earth the location of a place the extent of a region and the extent of any linear features can be described precisely with the help of parallels and meridians students today we have learned that how to describe a location of a place on the earth surface using the important parallels and uh, important meridians and using the earth's hemispheres northern hemisphere southern hemisphere eastern hemisphere as well western hemisphere next time we will learn how to describe the exact location of a place roads rivers using parallels and uh, meridians we will see